Caddis Maximus here, this time with the Harbor Freight Fasten Pro 1210. This is the aluminum threaded insert riveter kit. They're not particularly rivets, but I guess they work in a similar way. You have these little metal inserts. These are for when you want to bolt something to a piece of sheet metal because the sheet metal usually is too thin. Now, in many situations for covers, they do just run screws into the sheet metal, but if you want to have something a little more secure, say a rolling tool chest that has a handle on it, this is what they use. These are these big, uh, or I should say, various different size little threaded inserts. These are aluminum. They also make them out of brass. There are also some really heavy duty industrial ones which are steel, but they require a hydraulically powered tool and are several hundred dollars. This with the coupon on the set is only 20 bucks, and it comes with four different sizes, 632, 832, 1024, and quarter inch 20. And it's interesting that they are actually fractional. Uh, you would think with Harbor Freight this would be a metric set, and you can indeed get these in metric. But for note, these are imperial ones for the small sizes up to quarter inch. And they, of course, Harbor Freight doesn't. But online, there are larger versions of these available. How these work is, is actually similar to a rivet. You have a little shoulder here, and we'll actually get a little bit of a smaller one, and we'll use our demonstration from yesterday. It would just get inserted through a hole, say in a piece of sheet metal, and then this special call or threaded chuck threads into there, and then when it rivets, there's actually a little blank area we can see right at the top, and what happens is it threads into the threads at the back and squashes it and makes a little bit of a bulge holding it in place. Now on the back side of these, and this one, bigger one's actually easier to see, they try to put little corrugations in there to prevent them from slipping and that's one of the biggest issues. Is one, when you crimp these, you really got to crimp them tight otherwise they will want to spin. And secondly, if you're say using aluminum on steel sheet metal, it just won't get uh, that much of a grip. Many times it's just fine because the hole that's drilled isn't perfect, but occasionally you'll just use, you know, some kind of tool, even a Phillips head screwdriver, just to just to put a couple little notches or something in the hole in order to give this insert just a little bit more grip and traction. Usually they're pretty fine, especially if you really crimp them tight. As far as the tool itself, it's Taiwanese made and it seems pretty decent. They actually use a crinkle paint, which I've always liked the crinkle style paint. And it is like a regular rivet tool, except for they have a totally different uh, nose piece, or excuse me, not nose piece, but internals to use as a th thread tool. It does come with a little wrench, and we'll show that in a second. Then, of course, it has a little uh, latch just to hold the handles together. And overall, the quality of the tool is fine. So you do have these four different nose pieces for the four different sizes of threaded inserts. It is counter-threaded on the inside of this, so when you're screw, uh, screwing them in, so when you're screwing it in, you would put the nose piece in, and then you'd put a little pressure on the handle and then start threading this in. It is counter-threaded. It's designed for you to be able to unscrew it and for this to really stay with the handle. So it may become a loose when you're actually tightening it in. Let's go ahead and pull this off. You need to put a little pressure on the handle just to get it apart. And you have like a little guide and then you actually have the, th the pin itself, which is of course counter threaded as I was mentioning. There are a couple little flats on the pin. There we go. And they do include a little wrench in case it gets stuck. So let's go ahead and get the proper size on here. In here I should say. That would be this one I believe, which is the 832. Just pop that in, and it's actually lefty tidy on this. Whoop. We can get it to cooperate here. Thread that in. Just give it a little bit of a cinch, like so. Get our nose piece in there. Now, technically, you can use a larger nose piece with a smaller threaded pole rod, but of course, you risk having some of the little lip of the rivet smush into the little gap uh, that would be created. So it's always recommended to try to keep these together and to actually use the appropriate nose piece. Now that we've got this whole thing going, we actually need to thread on our little nut cert. You want to thread it on tight. After you've done that, we'll just get it through here. They can be used as a rivet, so you can rivet two pieces of metal together, or sheet metal together, and have it be a threaded hole. 
And so these are also handy in automotive applications where many times they use little welded nuts that are blind so you can drill out the hole and then put in one of these to replace it. It does, it depends. The brass ones, in my experience, actually seem to be a little easier than the aluminum ones, but it depends on the grade. Anyway, we just put it on there. We put, maintain a lot of pressure. And that actually worked out quite nicely. That was just one pull, and we can see how well it mushed it out. Then we release it, put a little bit more uh, strain or pressure on the handle because otherwise it binds. And then, then this, then we would just unscrew it. And that's part of the design: is the threads are making the way that it pulls directly on the threads. Make sure that the threads in the actual nut cert don't get messed up, so it actually works smoothly when you're finished. And if it isn't tight enough, you can always just thread the tool in and give it another squeeze if you need to. And then voila, look, we have a piece of cardboard that actually has a threaded insert into it. And we'll use this little screw as an example if we can actually get it started here. There we go, had a little bung of aluminum, and then voila. So I always thought these tools were kind of neat and, and uh, had a project coming up where I thought one of these things would be real excellent. So there we go. And then... Uh, these tools, or this tool from Harbor Freight, really seems like it's just fine quality. It is Taiwanese, and it does come with a fair selection of these uh, threaded inserts. Now, I've looked online. You can order the metric size bits and the threaded nose pieces for different tools, but I assume they would still fit, fit in this one as well. But you will want to be careful that they... Sometimes they will do that, where, like, the, the fractional one will actually... these counter threads that hold it into the tool will also be fractional and then you're stuck actually buying two separate tools one for metric and one for fractional anyway just wanted to do a review of this uh, nut cert tool they do have it at Harbor Freight and it's always kind of neat when they have them uh, these kind of tools in stock at it's pretty hard to find I've never seen these type of tools out uh, in stock at an auto parts store they've been able to order them but many times when you're in a situation where you're like, wait a minute, I could use one of those nut cert things to, you know, like reattach that potty panel or fix this piece of equipment that has a loose panel or whatever. You always kind of want them right then, not have to wait to order them. And it's just kind of nice that at least Harbor Freight has a decent uh, option. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing and supporting the Caddis Maximus channel, even when YouTube demonetizes my videos for no reason, like my last video.